Alright people, welcome back. More card review. So today is Monday, and today we are looking at the Watermere Force. Yes, people, we finally got the Watermere Force. We have talked about the fire one, the wind one, the earth one, all the mirror forces, but we finally got the water one, and oh my god, it is so good. Today, we are looking at Rippling Mirror Force. Rippling Mirror Force is a normal trap card that reads, when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, all right, you're like, oh, well, you're going to have to get a direct attack in. It's not like all the other mirror forces. Oh, but hold on, hold on. That's the only thing That's the only thing keeping this card balanced. Shuffle all attack position monsters your opponent controls into the deck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, if you guys did not know, if you guys have just been completely out of the loop and you guys don't know, non-targeting, sending things back to the deck is some of the best things to do in you get It's like the best place to send things. Best place, you know? Like, oh, well, bounce to the hand. No. You sure you put in the graveyard? No. Oh man, but you know when you banish your opponent's but no. Returning shit back to the deck is the best place that you can send something. The best place. You, there is no better place than putting stuff back in there. I know you're probably saying, oh man, but well, they can redraw to it. Who cares? It's gone. They don't, you don't have to worry about them reviving it from the graveyard. You don't have to worry about them replaying it from their hand anytime soon because it shuffles back into that. You don't have to even worry about your opponent finding some way, somehow, getting it from the banish. No. Back to the deck, <laughs> you know, it, it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful when you do that, of course. And you're probably like, all right, well, you know, I don't believe you. Give me some evidence. All right, all right. I'll give you some evidence of some non-targeting returning to the deck, and you tell me if, oh, yeah, that's good. All right. Let's start off with uh, number one. You guys remember Modoches? You guys remember Tiramisu? Hmm, yeah. No, no, I know you remember Tiramisu. She's a boss-ass bitch. She's the leader of the Modoches. She's the thing that makes Madoche so mm, 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 delicious. It's not that they're all made out of cakes and pies and shit. No, she's the deck that she's the thing that makes the deck delicious, because of that non-targeting returning to the deck. Didn't you hate when your opponent did that? Yeah, yeah. Think about this: your opponent comes at you with all the monsters. Back to the deck. Back to the deck. Non-targeting. Back to the deck. So good. So good. All right. All right. All right. All right. You're probably like, all right. Yeah, you got me there. You got me there. Instance number two. You know Luster? You know Ignister? Yeah. Yeah, Ignister. He also puts you back to the deck without targeting, doesn't he? Damn. Mm. 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 Non-targeting. Back to the deck. Whew. Great. Remember, uh, you know, Yang Zing's Baxia. I know. Baxia targets. You know, sometimes the struggle hurts. The struggle hurts. It's like, damn. Damn, I'm running Yang Zings, and I can make back I can turn shit to the deck, but I, I I can't target them. I can't target the Dark Destroyer and Cosmos. Damn. I, just, I can bounce everything back to the deck, but oh, that's still good. You know, putting back to the deck is still good, but if only I didn't target. Ah. This doesn't target, and it returns to the deck. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys need another example? Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Uh, You know, what's a pretty popular card, uh, trap card right now? Uh, It's a, tra it's a trap hole. It's a trap hole. Mm. But I must... Yeah, no, no, no bottomless. All right, all right, all right. It destroys, so you really can't be like, oh yeah, bottomless. Can you go use it against Magic Specter's name? Nothing. So, yeah, all right, not bottomless, not bottomless. Mm. Trap tricks, trap nightmare. No, 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 no one's playing that. No one's playing that. Get that out of my face. All right, right. Time space, time space trap hole. Got it. Mm. What does that do? Oh yeah, when they they send them from their hand or from the extra deck, you put it back to the deck, right? Non non targeting return back to the deck. Sure, you take life points, but non targeting return to the deck. <clears throat> and that card's pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think I, I got, I think I got my point across. Yeah, yeah. Putting things back to the deck, non targeting wise, is the best thing that you can do in Yu Gi Oh. And this card literally does it. It literally does it. All right. And, and just like I said, to make it fail, your opponent has to get a direct attack in. But who cares? Who cares? If you're coming at me with shit. Nine times out of ten, that it, even if you're just attacking my monsters, you know what? Okay, you know at least I had some monsters to protect me. But if you're coming at me directly, that must mean that shit has hit the fan to the point where I don't got anything and you got everything, and you're coming at me. Or you know what? Maybe I just let you attack me directly. You know I'm just like screw it. Come on, let's go. Attack me directly? Nah, rebelling mirror force. Go back to the deck. Go back to the deck. All right. There's a there's a lot of, there's a lot of storming mirror force going on. You know, and the reason for it is. Destruction is not good. Targeting is not good. It, it's really weird to say that in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. But with Cosmos and Magic Specters, destruction isn't good. 
targeting isn't good. And, 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 a lot, and a lot of it just depends on monsters in general, you know. There's a lot of monsters that are just like, you know what, what, you want to you wanna target me and do something? Whatever. Oh, you want to destroy me? I'm just going to go back to extra deck. So, like I said, with all three of those top decks being top deck and just how different the format is in comparison to the last format where it's just like, you know, you want definitely mirror forces them, uh, them necro monsters. You, de you definitely want to go ahead and mirror and force, yeah, and mirror force is hella popular. It's not popular anymore. Mirror force is not popular right now. So, but what is popular right now? Storm mirror force. Because why? Because the target doesn't target and it doesn't destroy. Alright, so if you do it against either Magic Spectres or Cosmos, doesn't matter. They attack, they're getting Storm Mirror Force. And my problem with Storm Mirror Force is that it's only a temporary solution. Of course, Storm Mirror Force is kind of like a compulse. You put it back in your hand. And right now, right now, arguably better than Cosmos because Compulse targets. And, you know, no, 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 no target. Yeah. I mean, what would, if you're about to get attacked directly by, by a Dark Destroyer or a Magic Spectre Monster, what would you rather have? Compulse or Storm Mirror Force? I'm sorry. Storm Mirror Force. You know? Compulse may be faster, but Storm Mirror Force doesn't target. Yeah, but like I said, you put it in your hand. Ooh, Storm Mirror Force. Your Cosmo Monsters go back to your hand. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you know, you're gonna, just going to get it later. You know? Your Magic Spectre Monsters go back to your hand. Okay, thank you. I'll just summon them later and then go ahead and get my search. So like I said, unless you're playing an absolute deck where you can absolutely lock it down, like Storm Mirror Force, get out of my face, and go for game, I just can't really recommend it. And I know a lot of people are playing Storm Mirror Force, and you know, it's really just the best Mirror Force stats I got right now. Until this. Until this. Until this, people. Until this. Uh, because, like I said, Storm Mirror Force is pretty nice. It's non-targeting returning back to the hand, but this is non-targeting returning back to the deck, people. To the deck. So, yeah, you come at me with all them cosmos. Do you think that you're safe? Do you think that if I'm Mirror Force, you're going to float? And that if I storm Mirror Force, you're just going to go back to the hand to be used later? Uh, yeah. Rippling Mirror Force. Back to the deck. Back to the deck. You know? Oh, Magic Spectres. All the Magic Spectres. You're just like, shit, I'm safe. I can't be destroyed. Card effect. I can't be targeted. He can't Mirror Force me. Even if he storm Mirror Force me, I'm just going to go back to the hand, be pendulum summoned back later. I'm going to get all of them searched. This is going to be fan fucking tastic. You know, I'm totally ready for his monsters. He doesn't have any monsters right now, but, you know, I've got my spells and traps ready. Uh, whenever he summons a monster, I'm just going to wreck him with my Magic Spectre spells and traps. It's just going to be great. I got this duel. I'm going to attack with my Magic Spectre because none of his shit can touch me. Rippling Mirror Force. Back to the deck. Back to the deck. No more Cosmo Monsters to even... I mean, Cosmo Monsters. Magic Spectre Monsters to even use your spells and traps because they're back in the fucking deck. Non-targeting returning back to the deck. It's, oh my god, this card's great. It's kind of great. Like I said, the whole direct attacking is only thing in the card to keep this card ban ba balance. So good. It's so good. It's so good. So, you're probably you're like, Daniel, you're praising the hell of this card. Is it that good? It's that good. How many should I run? Not three. <laughs> All right. All right. Because <laughs> you're probably like, wow, whoa, if it's so good, why, why should I run three? You see, the problem with running three is that it's so defensive. But keep in mind, it has to be a direct attack. There's not going to be times that you're always getting direct attack. And, you know, you got to play smart. Sometimes, you know, you will be in a position where you're getting direct attack. Sometimes maybe you let your opponent get the direct attack in. You know, it's just one of those situations where it's like, yeah, yeah, I have a monster and I could go ahead and play it. Maybe take less damage. But, you know, what? I think I'm going to risk it and try to hit him with that rippling mirror force. You know, space time trap pull, same thing. Yeah, you're returning back to deck, but ooh, them life point costs, you know? It, it's the risk versus reward, you know? You know like, Rippling Mirror Force and Time Space Trap are like, you know, best friends. They're like, hey, you got hey, dog, dude, I got the fucking special summons from the extra deck in hand, you know? I got that. You go ahead and get the attacks. We'll tag up together and we're just gonna put everything back to the deck, you know? You know, just splash this in a freaking Madocha deck because everything is going back, you know? You, yo, fucking mama, everything in the kitchen sink is going back inside that deck. It's so good, so good. But, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, it's a very defensive card. It's a direct attack. If it was just attack in general, then hell yeah, three. Every time someone attacks you and you f and you feel like, you know, let's go, let's get him with the rippling, yeah. But just remember, keep in mind this is direct attack. You're not going to get directed all the, direct all the time. And the problem with this card is that it's, it's a little bit slow and defensive to the point where if you're going on the offensive, it can be a terrible dead draw, you know? If you're going on the offense and you're just pushing, then it's a nice little protection, you know? It's a nice condom to protect you if, you know, you go in and you get an STD on your monsters and they go, then you got something to protect you, you know? This is kind of like your, your health insurance. It's your health insurance. But if you have too much of your health insurance and not enough aggressiveness with it in your deck, you're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. You got triple, tri triple rippling mirror forces, but you got nothing to go in with. It's it's, it's sad. It's sad. So and it's a little bit too <coughs> too cocky at three. It's a little bit too cocky at three. I definitely would recommend two. Two two seems like just the perfect amount, you know. And 
that generally in Yu-Gi-Oh it is. If you want way too much of something, run three. If you don't run, you know, if you want to run very little, run one. So what's the in between? Let's run two. You know, you can't run one and a half. I mean, that'd be kind of cheating if you ran like one Rippling Force and then like a half of Rippling Mirror Force, just cut the card in half, put it in the sleeve and be like, uh, half of Rippling Mirror Force? You know, you know. So, uh, I definitely think this card's great. Really awesome. Everybody's been talking about it, and rightfully so. This card is just so good, and almost almost a little bit more than we needed. Just, just like, it just doesn't even make you want to go in anymore. Back when you were just like, eh, that Mirror Force, I don't care. Eh, that have a Storm Mirror Force, whatever. But, that have a Rippling Mirror Force. Just like, oh my god, like, I'm not even sure. Like, the, like this, this card is as scary as a direct attack since fucking Gorus was popular. Like, this is the kind of card that you're just like, fuck, I don't want to attack. If they have a Rippling Mirror Force, I'm fucked. You know, if they have a Gors, I'm fucked. So, yeah, this, this, is, this is just as scary as a direct attack since Gortz itself. And, uh, non-targeting returning back to the deck. It's, uh, oh, it's so dreamy. It, it's a West, it's a West person's dream. And then also, it's a nightmare to me with Yubel because, yeah. Because if you guys are wondering... When you know you're probably like, oh, when Terran Carter says when it's removed from the field, yeah, but if I go to the deck, I'll activate it in the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you compulse my terror, here comes all the nightmare. If you destroy my terror, here comes all the nightmare. If you remove and play my terror, here comes all the nightmare. But if you return my terror back to the deck, no, it's a nightmare. <laughs> so, definitely, definitely. You can, uh, just so good, so good. So, tell me what you guys think about Rippling Mirror Force. Because uh, I think it's fantastic. And when I first read it, and I was like, finally, the Lightning Force. Let me read this. And my jaw dropped. I, I had to pick my jaw up off the ground and reattach it to my face. So, I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> By god, it's so good. <laughs> All right, people. Uh, so, like I said, in the comments below, tell me what you guys think about this card. And I will read it. And I will, of course, be back Wednesday for another card to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.